Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain magnetic flux with great clarity. First of all, one should know what is magnetic flux. See, magnetic flux is amount of magnetic field passing through cross-sectional area. So, magnetic flux is amount of magnetic field passing through cross-sectional area. If you have magnetic field B and as if you have cross-sectional area S, then magnetic flux is dot multiplication of magnetic field and surface area. So, always remember this. Magnetic flux is dot multiplication of magnetic field and surface area S. In general, one can calculate magnetic flux S per surface integration of magnetic field and always remember, this will be dot multiplication, right? Let me explain this by some case studies. Like you can observe here we have magnetic field that is happening in this direction. And here we have surface area. You can observe direction of surface that is perpendicular to the surface. One should know if you have surface area like this, then direction of this area that is perpendicular to the surface, right? So here we have surface that is having this direction. And if you observe, magnetic field and surface both are there in same direction. What it means? Angle between surface and magnetic field that is zero, right? So as per the basic definition, magnetic flux that is B dot S means it is B S cos theta. One should know dot multiplication means cosine component. So B dot S means B S cos theta. Here theta is zero cos 0 is 1. So, magnetic flux that is magnetic field into area over here, right? But what if you incline area? Like you can observe here we have magnetic field and now surface is having some inclination. So, direction of surface that is happening in this direction and direction of magnetic field that is there in this direction. If I say here we have angle theta, right? So, in that case, magnetic flux that is B dot S that is B S cos theta. So, here you can observe see surface is inclined over here because of which magnetic flux that is decreasing. Here magnetic flux was maximum. The reason is angle of surface and magnetic field that was there in same direction means angle was zero. So, maximum magnetic field that can pass through surface, but as if you have inclination of surface, then amount of magnetic field passing through surface that will decrease, right? Now, I'll explain you the basic unit of magnetic flux. See, in general, we used to calculate magnetic flux in terms of Weber, but still, one should understand that unit in terms of SI. So, unit of magnetic flux that is Weber and see this Weber that can be translated in terms of SI unit. See Weber that is magnetic field into area. Magnetic field is having unit of Tesla and area is having unit of meter square. So Weber is equals to Tesla into meter square and Tesla that is a unit of magnetic field and that is Newton divided by ampere meter. So here one meter is getting cancelled. So one can say Weber that is Newton meter per ampere. So magnetic flux unit is Weber as well as one can say its unit is Newton meter per ampere. Right. So this is all about magnetic flux. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is magnetic flux. Still if any query is there then just post that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.